Welcome to Community Health TV, powered by Community Therapy. We're here with accredited practicing dietitian Grace, and we're talking about weight management and healthy eating advice. So, big topic once again, but let's try and give some nice takeaways for people today. As a dietitian, what do we mean by, I guess, weight management, healthy eating advice? Yeah, so typically weight management or healthy eating, we are referring to improving someone's health, um, whether it be meeting a comfortable weight or attaining a healthy weight. Um, and a lot of that as well comes down to what that client's goals are. So whether that be around improving their health, their physical activity, their ability to mobilise in the community, um, or have confidence, for example, to go out for lunch or wear their favourite pair of jeans, whatever it may be. Um, so from a dietitian's perspective, knowing that I'm a physio by background, so trying to get my correct terminology here around weight management, a dietitian's usually referring to this as underweight and overweight, or how do we like speak about those things of weight management? Yeah, absolutely. It is a broad term and weight management does refer to either being underweight, so that may be um, applying strategies to help put on weight or overweight to um, and wishing to lose weight on okay. the other end. Yeah. yeah, so that could be an old adult, person living with disabilities, that's who we are mainly supporting and can speak to today. Of, They could be underweight for a range of reasons. That could be an old adult that's quite frail and has been losing weight. Um, or that could be underweight due to, you know, we've spoken to in a different topic around disordered or fussy eating could be leading to weight management issues as well. So as a healthcare professional, other than a dietitian, a coordinator, family member, how would I identify that weight management or unhealthy eating could be something of a concern for somebody that I'm supporting or somebody that I care for? What am, what am I looking for or listening for? Yeah, so in terms of, I guess if we start with healthy eating in general, um, what we'd be looking for is unhealthy eating patterns. So for example, it may be um, particularly for clients that may have support workers or carers in place th that may take, um, for example, an NDIS participant or an aged care client to the shops, it's looking at what's going in that trolley. So um, are we noticing lots of convenient foods or processed foods? So things like biscuits and chips or um, more high fat meals, um, pies, for example, or pastries. I'm not saying that they're bad foods and we can't have them, um, but we do want to make that sure. Overall balance. Yeah, we want to have an overall balance, and that's what comes down to putting healthy eating strategies in place and looking at the healthy eating guidelines as to why they exist. So, why do we have foods from the five food groups? So, our cereals, fruits, vegetables, protein foods, and dairy. The reason we have those is because they provide us with nutrients to um, function optimally. So without those, so where we're having a diet that's less of those five food groups and more discretionary items or what people would call unhealthy foods, that's where we can get an imbalance and it can start to impact our day-to-day -day living. It can start to impact our weight as well and weight management. Um, whereas if we're underweight, that's where we'd look at key things like unintentional weight loss or reduced food intake as well. Mm, so I think there's some key things there of like health professional, coordinator, family, we can see some of these things. We could see what's in somebody's home or I might be able and I see what they're eating or I could see what's being put in a trolley if I'm supporting somebody yeah. during shopping. And then there's other you know, areas where a disability group home or a residential aged care facility have you know, different standards of how they're applying their requirements there as well. So I think we can observe some, I guess, you know, risk factors or concerns with how somebody's eating and we can theoretically observe around weight management too, somebody that may appear frail or may appear overweight, but knowing that then a dietitian is then the skilled professional of determining that and having those conversations. So if I had a concern as a coordinator or a healthcare professional, what would I say to that person? How do I 
do that respectfully, especially if yeah. it's around weight yeah. management. Yeah. Um, but even healthy eating, health, eating and food, like I wouldn't want necessarily somebody to say to me that I can't eat those things because it's unhealthy. So, yeah. But at the same time, it's an important conversation to bring up and especially amongst health professionals and coordinators, there's a duty of care mm. there to, mm. to bring it up mm. and have that conversation. So how do I do that? Yes, great <laughs> question. Um, and it can be a sensitive topic. Um, with weight management, if we look at you know under eating or under nutrition or just in general being underweight, um, some of the key things that we would ask the client is if they're concerned. And that's going to apply to anyone that is overweight or we do have concerns about their particular dietary patterns as well. Are you concerned about your weight? Um, if they say, whether they say yes or no, if they say yes, um, then we can follow on from that in terms of, you know, a dietitian may be able to help you with your weight management and we really do in saying that we want to make sure that we're applying it to the client's goals at the end of the day so so could i say then well why are you concerned yes because they absolutely. might give me a goal yes absolutely yeah. and then you can use that as well to then flow into a dietitian referral i'm concerned because and you're like great yes. a dietitian can help you with that exactly yeah. um exactly so an example might be you know i'm embarrassed to go out for lunch um, or I mean you know I don't want to you know engage with social activities anymore I'm not able to go for a walk anymore because um, you know I can't fit into my tights or clothing and um, that's a really big impact for me and I'm wanting to improve that we can then use those goals to say okay um, it sounds like this is a big concern for you um, would you like me to refer to a dietitian a dietitian's role is to look at your dietary intake and they'll be able to come up with some strategies that may be able to help you reach mm. your goal. I'd say a really common one that we see, especially across older adults that we support, is people actually voice that they're feeling concerned about losing weight. Yeah. Um, and that can be that you know they feel like their muscles aren't filling out their body as much as they used to, their clothes are um, not fitting as well because they're actually too big for them now. So unintentional weight loss especially at you know a, um, a quick pace mm -hmm. there's definitions there around that pace for frailty and different things as well is a real concern and things that people need to look for as healthcare professionals and and family members coordinators we need to be identifying weight loss very much as a um, big component but it applies across all of these areas as well so i think the takeaway from today's session is if you're seeing concerns around somebody's weight management or their healthy slash unhealthy eating patterns, it's to ask those questions. Are you concerned about? And then if somebody does answer yes, or you can say, well, why are you concerned about that? And you could identify their real goal. Yeah. What we talk about is like a meaningful goal, something that's really meaningful for them to achieve. And then open up that discussion about a dietitian referral. Absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Thanks so much for your time in this episode and we'll see you in the next one.